way to um, Global Peace Rally in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Um, now, what is all this about? Well, Peace Rallies really start kicking off, uh, Global Peace Rallies really start kicking off uh, before the invasion in Afghanistan. Back then, um, there was maybe a handful of people there. There was uh, 20, 30, certain cities maybe, certain towns maybe had like one or two people standing in a corner protesting against the war and invasion of Afghanistan. In Vancouver back then, uh, we had maybe 25 to 50 people show up. Now, initially, everybody was bought into the war. Slowly, when people start seeing the pictures of uh, dead children coming back and uh, you know just innocent civilians being killed, and the U.S. and NATO forces continuously apologizing for killing, uh, you know, bombing villages, bombing homes. Uh, people started coming to peace rallies more and more, and it peaked basically before the United States invaded Iraq. Now, if, um, if anybody attended the peace rally just before the invasion of Iraq, uh, you would have probably had tears coming from uh, to your eyes, um, forming in your eyes anyway, because uh, it was magnificent, it was brilliant. Uh, there were tens of thousands of people uh, in each specific city, it was estimated that uh, anywhere between six to eight million people marched on that day just before the invasion of Iraq. Um, unfortunately, the United States uh, went ahead with its invasion with some uh, so-called coalition countries, uh, one of them really being, um, well, two of them being uh, UK and Australia. Um, and that took the steam out of the anti-war movement or the peace movement. Um, what happened after that was the peace rallies started dwindling. People kept on going to the peace rallies. They noticed that nothing was happening. Um, and it basically stayed that way for the last few years. Now what's happened is the rhetoric is coming back to bomb Iran, to attack Iran. Turkey has already entered the Iraq war. Um, Pakistan has already started bombing villages bordering the Afghanistan, Afghanistan border. So what's happening is people are noticing that the war in Iraq uh, or the invasion of Afghanistan and the invasion of Iraq um, the wars of aggressions are not being contained. Uh, the war is being is spreading. It's moving to Turkey. Pakistan is getting involved. Uh, it's a complete disaster. What's happening is, with the expansion of the war, uh, now that it's not being contained, people are starting to really realize how big of a disaster this has become. And the rhetoric is coming coming out from the Bush administration and certain other organizations that they're going to start attacking Iran, or they're going to start the attack on Iran. Now, the attack on Iran is not going to be a conventional attack. They've already talked about using nukes. Uh, they're, uh, they've, they've already started making tactical uh, nuclear weapons, which are uh, just small-scale nuclear weapons. And they're refurbishing their, B, uh, uh, their bombers. The Americans are refurbishing their bombers to carry these nuclear weapons. Uh, it's, uh, you know, people are starting to realize that this is getting completely out of hand. Now, you can think about it as Afghanistan being the precursor to Iraq, and Iraq is, you know, a you know, couple orders of magnitude larger than Afghanistan is. Iran is going to be a couple, lar couple of orders of magnitude larger than Iraq, if the United States is allowed to bomb Iran. Just to get uh, some numbers in there. Right now, it's estimated that approximately one million, actually more than one million Iraqi civilians have died due to U.S.'s invasion. If the United States attacks Iran, take that a few orders of magnitude higher, take it one order of magnitude higher, that means if the United States attacks Iran, there's going to be at least 10 million people dead. And that, I hope, is uh, some numbers that are going to bring more people coming to these peace rallies um, and I believe that's what's going to happen now the last few peace rallies in the last few years have been pretty uh, uh, non-substantial really They've, uh, there hasn't been that many people going and what's happening right now is the word is getting out and people are starting to really worry about uh, the US attacking Iran especially using nuclear weapons now the importance of nuclear weapons um, is this, World War II ended with the use of nuclear weapons. Actually it ended before the use of nuclear weapons, but let's say it ended with the use of nuclear weapons. And 72 million people died in World War II. That was about 3% of the population of the world at that time. 
if we assume that the same percentage of people are going to die in World War III, which is what the United States has stated we are in, in 2006, in May 2006, George Bush, the President of the United States, and Israel's UN ambassador stated that World War III had already started. This is in May 2006. They are um, restating these facts or this this agenda for them to start World War III, full-blown World War III. In the last few months, this World War III rhetoric has come out. Some people are actually saying this is World War IV. Now, if we assume that the same percentage of people that died in World War II are going to die in World War III, that means 3% of the world's populace is going to die. Right now, the population of the world is 6.6 .6 billion. 3% of 6.6 .6 billion is approximately 200, 200 million people are going to die. That's what the United States is proposing. Now, this, this number, 200 million people dying in World War III, is a conservative estimate because World War II ended with nuclear weapons. These madmen are saying that they want to start World War III with nuclear weapons. So this is a very conservative estimate. And this, I hope, is going to bring a lot more people to the peace rallies because it's going to take a lot more people than six to eight million marching on in one day to stop the United States from attacking Iran. Because six to eight million people marching to stop the Iraq invasion didn't do it. Any country that gets involved in an attack on Iran will be involved in World War III. In Canada, the number of people marching forced the Canadian government not to get involved in the invasion of Iraq. So we're going to head out to the peace rally, find out what's going on, how many people are involved, and hopefully it's going to be a lot, and uh, we'll do a little filming and uh, bring that to you.